Hallelujah. Can we all stand, please? It's good to be in God's house. Amen. Amen. Uh, I was just reading uh, in Genesis 29, it talks about uh, Leah and, and when she had Judah. And if, if you know the story, uh, Jacob, his affection was not towards Leah, but it was towards Rachel. And Leah's heart was to gain the affection of, of, of her of her husband. But yet, in the middle of her situation, she decided, and it was placed in her heart, to name her son Judah, which we get the name praise from. What is that saying? If you are here today, and you are facing a difficult time, if you have felt rejected in a way, if you have felt abandoned in a way, if you have felt like nobody around you cares about your situation, I'm praying and I'm believing that God will put praise within your heart, Amen. praise within your spirit, that you will lift up the name of Jesus, even though you're facing those circumstances. And I believe that God will show up in a mighty way in your life. Amen? Amen. So, so this morning, hallelujah, hallelujah, let's this morning, I'm not saying to put aside the situation. I'm saying face that situation and praise God through that situation and say this thing is not going to dictate who I am. This thing that I'm facing today is not going to affect me in a way that I'm going to be down and my head's going to be, no, I'm going to raise my head up high and I'm going to proclaim the name of the Lord with all that's within me. Amen. Amen. Heavenly Father, we just praise you, right, we praise you right now and we ask you to have your way in this place. Holy Spirit, just come right now as we lift up your name, as we lift up the name of Jesus. Lord, just pour out your spirit in this place. Move in this place, God, like never before. We give you the honor. We give you the glory. Have your way, God. Have your way. Despite what we're going through, God, we're going to praise you through the things that we face. We're going to walk through this storm. We're going to walk through this situation with our head up and high.
And that's something that you and I need to come to the realization of that it doesn't matter what's going on in our life. What matters is how good God is. And the Bible says that it works every day. And the Bible says that it works everything for the good of those who love him. That should give you hope. It doesn't matter what your circumstance is. What matters is that at the end of this thing, God is the one who's going to save you. He's the one who's going to redeem you. He's the one who's going to deliver you. He's the one who's going to heal you. He's the one who's going to set you free. Let me say it like this. No man can set you free. No man can, can be your savior. No man can be your redeemer. But Jesus Christ, the King of kings and the Lord of lords, he can. He can heal you and he can set you free. in the 
name of Jesus. This morning we claim victory over our lost loved ones, our lost spouses, our lost children. And we say, Lord, they belong to you. We surrender them to you. Have your way. Have your way. Have your way in the name of Jesus. We didn't come here for just another service. We didn't come here to play church. We came here to have a living encounter with the living God.
in this place. And one thing that I've learned about when we worship you is that it moves your heart and you begin to do miracles, signs, and wonders like we haven't seen before. And in the name of Jesus, we worship you in this place. And like I said at the beginning of this prayer, have your way. You're the God of wonders. You're the God of eternity. And you're the God of miracles. And today, Lord, we surrender our hearts and our souls and our minds to you. And we say, have your way. We move all of our agenda and we move all our schedule and we move all our worry and we give you the center stage of our heart and we say, have your way, Lord Jesus. Have your way. How many people in this world don't get to worship you out in the open like this? How many people and how many churches are underground because if they worship you in public, they'll die. And Lord, for them, today we stand in the gap and we worship you publicly and we worship you with all our hearts and all our minds and all our souls in the name of Jesus. We breathe you in right now in Jesus' name. We breathe you in. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus that you would continue as we continue to, to come to you with our hearts of worship and gratitude, I pray that you would continue to move in this service. Lord, as an act of worship, as an, an imitator of God, Lord, we surrender our tithe and our offering to you this morning in the name of Jesus. I pray that you would bless it and that you would multiply it and that you would use it to advance your kingdom, that you would make us wise stewards of how we're supposed to appropriate that money properly and accordingly. And I pray in the name of Jesus that you would move in each one of our hearts, and that you would move in each one of our minds. I pray that in Jesus' name. And right now, in advance, before the miracles even happen, by faith, I say thank you for what you've already done. I say thank you for what you're doing even now. I say thank you for what you're about to do in each one of our lives. To you be the honor, the glory, and the power forever and ever. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Can we, as you approach, amen. Praise God.